Hey, good afternoon there. Welcome back to the channel for those of you who have seen me before and welcome to the channel for those of you who are viewing me for the first time. So I'm in my front yard. Here's my lawn. Looks pretty good from afar. Uh, I had a rough summer. Let me show you that. Look at that. So what happened this summer was a solenoid on this zone uh, stuck and I was gone for the entire month of July and we actually ended up having a record heat wave up here in the Pacific Northwest, like 95, 100, 115 degrees. And to kind of give you a background on that, 80 degrees is hot for us up here. So that was a huge, huge difference for us. So my lawn did not take it well. And you can see some yellow patches through here. Now it's been, well, it's the beginning of September now. So it's been about a month month and a half and I've been watering this thing regularly and taking care of it and bringing it back but it's September now and in September what does that mean that means overseeding that means dethatching doing your fall program so that you have a bang up spring so I've already mowed this lawn and I've edged it and you can see I haven't blown it off at all because I'm gonna make a huge mess and how am I gonna make a huge mess I'm gonna make a huge mess with this bad boy. The Ryobi 18 volt cordless dethatcher. They call it a scarifier aerator. Yes, it aerates, but it's not an aerator like you and I think about it, like a plug aerator. This uses a scarifying blade, which cuts, or a dethatching or power rake blade, which just kind of combs the grass and picks up the loose stuff. Well, this one, as you, if you've seen my other video, I, it's 35 millimeter, that should be a dead giveaway. I had imported from the UK. This one is coming to the United States sometime, I think in October, as the P72740. And the European version doesn't come with any accessories, but it comes with a scarifying blade only. So after five months of waiting and a little bit of a back order, I was able to get the power rake attachment for this unit here. Uh, the US version comes with all the accessories, the scarifier blade, the power rake blade, and the bag. I don't use the bag. Uh, I talked about it in my other videos. It's just a huge pain in the ass and it fills up too quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up and then we're gonna swap this power rake into that unit in place of the scarifier. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. Yeah, just what I expected. Scare fire blade with the tines, spring loaded. So this is a little less intrusive on your lawn. It doesn't actually slice into the topsoil. So it just kind of rakes across the top and that's really good for lawns, especially ones that use stolons like uh, warm season grasses, as opposed to rhizomes, which cool season grasses use, which are come up and below the surface and then back up, whereas stolons go across. So a um, scarifier blade would slice through a lot of those stolons and actually damage your lawn, whereas this is a little bit less intrusive, pulls the weaker stuff out, and doesn't destroy the stolons as much. Let's go ahead and install this now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out this scarifier blade and it's only held in with these two Allen heads and this is a provided wrench. So it just fits right in there. And I'll just break those free and then just twist those out. It's really simple. That one out. Lock comes off. There's a bearing right there. You want to make sure you keep dirt out of your bearing and then just pop that out. There it is. And just like the other one coming out, this one goes right back in. It's got a socket here, goes right over that shaft. Like that. And then seat it in there, and it drops right in. I can get it in there. There it goes. And then that bearing goes down. Make sure there's no dirt on there. Drop the lock back on there. And tighten that down.
So this is a 36 volt unit run by two 18 volt batteries. These are six amp hour. And stay tuned to my channel because I'm gonna build a, an adapter so I can use one of the 40 volt garden batteries in this thing. That should be awesome. So here's a better look at that dry spot in the front of my yard where the sprinklers weren't working. And that power rake is really going to get a lot of this dead stuff out of here. And it'll give me good soil to seed contact when I get ready to do my top dress and all that after I get done dethatching. So some of my viewers have commented why I leave this door in the down position because I'm not using the basket and why don't I tie it up? Well, I like to call it hay baling and if you look how these little clumps right here and right here, as it fills up, they just kind of drop out and it makes it easier to rake, but uh, the other comments were maybe it slowed the blade down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bungee cord on here and we're going to hold this up and we're going to do a couple of runs to see how it functions with this open. If I get grass kicked up in my face or if it spreads it out or how it works. So let's check that out too. So, what do I think about that? Uh, the easy part is, is uh, no clumps, so I don't have to rake it up. I, when I run my mower over this, it'll pick it up a lot easier. The mower just doesn't do well on those big hay bale clumps. Bad thing is, uh, where the grass is healthy, it's easy, but where the grass wasn't healthy, where it was really dry, like this area right here, it kicks up pretty good. So if you don't mind getting a little dirt and grass in your face, then have at it. Leave the uh, the flap open and I'm actually going to leave it open for the rest of this lawn because it's healthy. This is the only dry spot I had really here. So here we go. Okay, so I was able to do the entire 1,500 square feet of my front lawn with that one pair of six amp batteries. It took two pairs of three amp batteries to do my boulevard strip and that part over there on the other side and my backyard back there. So my backyard is only about 900, 800, 900 square feet and it wasn't as bad. I mean, you can barely see any of the thatch in there. Um, but this will be super easy to pick up with the lawnmower. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to run my lawnmower over everything and pick up all this loose grass. And we'll move on to the next phase. So I've run the mower over here. And what I had to do is actually get my rake, my leaf rake right there, and pull up everything in this area. It was just getting too thick for the mower and it was filling up really fast and it was clogging it, so I figured I'd just pull some of this up manually. Check out the size of this pile, just from this area. That's huge, that's probably two or three bags on the lawnmower, when usually when I do the whole lawn, it's one and a half, maybe two bags. So you would say, this looks terrible. No, this looks amazing. Look at all that soil. That's gonna be great seed to seed contact. I missed a little strip right there. I maybe have to run that thing through again just to clean it up a little more before I start overseeding and fertilizing 
which is tomorrow. All right, let's wrap this thing up. I'm starting to run out of sunlight. Whether you choose to use the Scarifier blade or the power rake, definitely for sure, with one of these units, you're never gonna need one of these again. This one's going on the discount table at the next garage sale. For me, it's definitely the power rake blade. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right down over there. Thanks for watching. Data yourself.